Hi, welcome to another action-packed episode of CWA Writers at Home. My name is Lee Goldberg. I am the New York Times bestselling author of Lost Hills, among many other books. And I am coming to you from my home office in Calabasas, California, where I am sheltering in place with my wife, Valerie, who presently is outside in a hazmat suit with a shotgun, protecting our hoard of toilet paper from the Kardashians and other celebrities. You may have noticed already the James Bond posters behind me. That's because I'm a professional Daniel Craig impersonator as if you didn't already know, and a huge James Bond fan. And I have all the Bond posters. I cycle them through here every few weeks just to keep things fresh. I'm especially fond of this one behind me because I framed it with my ticket to the royal premiere of The Living Daylights at the Odeon Theater. I was able to attend because I was covering the Bond films for the Los Angeles Times Syndicate. Sandwiched between these two Bond posters is a painting of me. There was a gift from the city of Owensboro, Kentucky. I don't know why I've stuck it there. Perhaps Raging Ego. Behind me, you can see my desk. It's probably terrible feng shui that I write with my back to the door and facing the window, but I like to stare out into space and think of my next plot and ponder what a complete fraud I am and worry about whether this is the day I'll be unmasked, and it probably is. All these books you see behind me are signed first edition mysteries and thrillers, many of them by CWA authors like Stephen Booth, incredibly talented, but of course, best known for being powerfully sexy. Behind me there, you can see the canvas director's chair from when I was the executive producer of Diagnosis Murder with Dick Van Dyke, a show I understand is very popular in the UK. And I wanna thank all of you because you put my daughter through college. Or at least I think those residuals did. That or my, my drug dealing. Over my shoulder above the canvas chair, is the oil painting for the cover from my novel 357 Vigilante, my first book that was published when I was a teenager. I love that painting because, first of all, it's cheesy and, and cool, but also it be, because it grounds me. It reminds me of who I was when I was a kid and all the hopes and dreams I had and how lucky I am that so many of them have come true, that I am able to write for a living and it's just, it's, it's great. I'm, I'm the luckiest guy I know. And speaking of luck, I'm healthy. I hope you and your family are healthy. I hope you stay healthy. So please stay safe during this pandemic. And from my family to yours, I wish you the very best.